Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're in Scotland and uh, we've got a lot of work to do today. I'm hoping to put a couple of more stations in at the very least and uh, head off further down the Shots Line and the West Coast Main Line. If all goes according to plan, we'll link back up with where we are. It's the last part of our West Coast Main Line, other than the portal, Carstairs Junction. So not much of an intro today. I would like to get... Well, there's no trains, is there? <laughs> well, that was a disappointment. I think what we'll do then is... Uh, maybe a train's out at the end? Yeah, possibly. Sat here somewhere. Right. We're all the way over here. I thought we'd sit back in our, uh, our starter area back there. But we're up this end, aren't we? We can still see our... That doesn't exist, West Coast Main Line. It was interesting, I had in the comments someone was not pleased that I drifted too far over from our track. I'd like to point this out, doesn't exist. But I agree, I wasn't happy with it, and so, where are we? Goodness me, it's massive. Now we're at the correct angle. This, uh, this is doodle scribbles that I put on the map to get the, uh, the angle right. It's, it's roughly right. I took the angle off a little bit so we didn't go plowing into those uh, hills and mountains over there yeah so instead it's like that I've shrunk down the distance a little bit between the stations we should still have enough room for uh, some fancy scenery I took us up to where our next station's gonna be and we'll begin that very shortly but what do you reckon is that a little better while we do drift off here, you'll see we uh, can now get back because there's a nice big gap from this station to this one before we go back on the West Coast Main Line up to, is it Carstairs? Maybe we should answer that one. Is this Carstairs? It is. There we go. So yes, we're doing that and uh, that will get us back on track. But we're much larger than, well, not too much larger. We're a little larger than uh, half scale at the moment. I have gone ahead. Well, I also put that building in. I forgot about that. Uh, it'll do. It's not perfect, but it's, it's a building that is there. But I've gone ahead and done the rest of these platforms. We now have all 20 platforms. And oh my word, did that take a long time. The pauses were getting up to about five minutes, it felt like. I'm not sure it was, but that's what it felt like. So this took me a good hour to get the, the final ten platforms in. And uh, once they were in, yeah, it seems to be fine. An amazing mod. I love it. Talking of amazing mods, there's actually a clue on the screen right now. A new mod that has appeared on the workshop. I don't know how best to describe it other than over 9,000 badgers and 100% hacks. That's right, it's badger hacks, building blocks, and this under here is actually one of those blocks, and it's a singular block that goes in. So underneath it covers all the gubbins. You can clip through it and see where all the other stuff was, but uh, on the other side, there we go, it now covers all of that. It's not quite right. This road is uh, not at an angle that this could be. But it's close enough. So yes, that's all covered in. And uh, these posts here, these are also part of that mod. I will link to that mod in the description below so that you can go and uh, grab it. And if you enjoy it as much as I do, give it a like and a favourite as well. It's great to see. This is also part of the Building Blocks mod from Badger Hacks. He's also got a YouTube channel that's linked to the side of the mod. He does some wonderful stuff over on YouTube. So rather than linking his channel direct, go visit the mod, download that, and then you can go visit his channel. So yes, Badger Hacks, thank you. I'm not sure if you watch, but look at this. There's your wonderful work. I love it. Uh, there's some more things I've done, including that building. Again, I'll mention that. 
that I've uh, added or changed. Remember I used the other, the original building blocks mod that uh, is also linked in the description. Not directly, it's the uh, external mods link. There's a spreadsheet I've done. And you can go and get those off transportfever2.net. But this, this is uh, now Badger Hacks' building blocks. <laughs> Am I always going to call it that? Maybe. It sounds great. But you can see underneath, it'll probably look better once we're, uh, it's hard to go under that low. Well, I could use this camera, couldn't I? Let's use this. Turn off the crosshairs and stuff. It allows us to go underneath. Right, Alt and G. Does that look the part? I think it does. Yeah, there we go. I mean, shadows in Transport Fever are rubbish anyway. Rubbish as in they don't make anything too dark, do they? No, you'd expect this tunnel to get darker. Not really going to complain about that though. As this is not a simulator. Uh, in the sense of a train simulator where it's all about the track work. There you go. I left this open. As you can see, it's not all filled in. It's going to be covered over the top. The sort of cheating that goes on in a lot of games where... Uh, you can clip through them. In fact, in a lot of games, these would just be a line. <laughs> and, then, and then the rest of it to save on uh, rendering. But I'm happy. I'm so happy with this mod. I'll bring it up, in fact. Assets. It's under BH for Badger Hacks. He's also got a couple of houses that we use in here. But there you go. We've got all these. I was talking about the poles, which uh, start out something like this. I will mention... So, so many textures to choose from. You can go through those yourself. But if you, uh, say, start with the 10 meter one, you can have some pretty decent size circular stuff, as well as curvy stuff. And uh, tubes as well. So you've got chimney work you can do. And we've got the uh, arches there. Even uh, pyramid hats. Or just straight up pyramids. What you can do with those is make a roof from it. Uh, if you wanted to. Or a church or a steeple or whatever. Um, you can change all of all of this. So that you can get it looking however you need it. There we go. Isn't that brilliant? It's absolutely marvellous. Like you can really go quite large with these. And make some wonderful shapes. Uh, I'm yet to break it. So that might have jinxed it. But you can do stuff like that. You can... Even take stuff down to minus. But yeah, go and go and play with that. There's some real fun stuff you can do. But there you go. There's some shapes. Let's stick those back to uh, default. That's not default, is it? No, definitely not. Lots of fun to be had. It's really cheered me up. Because uh, this one, for sure, has cheered me up. That's how that over there started. If you remember way back, I was building, uh, which station was it? Brigton? Was it Brigton? No, not Brigton. The one before Brigton. Is it before? Yeah, no, a couple before. Not even in the right place, Gran. We've got miles to go yet. Over here, yes, here we are. What is this station? Dalmarnock. Is it the one before Brigton? It is, indeed. And I had a go with uh, Badger Hax's building blocks. There we go. Isn't that marvellous? Far more talented than I. I thought about doing the exact same thing as Badger Hacks did, but then realised the limits of my abilities to create 3D models. And uh, I decided not to do that. Because they would have been a mess. Took far too much time and we wouldn't have any videos. But yes, isn't that fantastic? So I'm going to... Give that a go. I'm going to try and get the, the roof shape because it's very unique, isn't it? And uh, it's something we see on our line. So if we can get that, it's already looking better. If we can get that, then uh, that's job done as far as I'm concerned. And I'll be really happy. I also went in and used uh, those uh, tube thingies. There we go. The, uh, the cylinders. We've got those running down there now pretty much how it is and look they even curve slightly with the platform so much happy that's what i've got a lot of happy 
In fact, I would say I'm badger happy. That's not a saying, is it? No. Welcome to Avanti West Coast. Let's go over here. Uh, there goes our train, actually. It's just on its way back from Shots, our last station, heading to the east. And today, we're not going to link up with this. No, what we're going to do is put in our next station. Curry Hill is the next one. Two platforms. Make sure we know that platform one... In fact, I don't know what side platform one is. So it doesn't matter. It's going on like that. Uh, it's not going to be hard to change these around if I get it wrong. It's supposed to be a slightly curved station, but it really isn't worth doing with uh, the freestyle station that we did over at uh, Edinburgh. We're going to have to uh, delete these tracks back. It was mentioned, again in the comments, that uh, you don't need to delete these sections of track back anymore. And that got me really excited, until... That is, that I actually went to do it and uh, it didn't go too well. If we delete those back, will it do it and prove me wrong? I'll be super happy if it does. Maybe it sometimes it works and others. This is supposed to be 100. Where's 100? 100 electrified, where are you? You're uh, alphabetical, no, alphanumerical, aren't you? So you're down here. No, you still can't do it. Yes. I was super excited. I read the comment. I'm like, really? They fixed that? In what patch? Perhaps it was a beta that they're using. But as you can see, with this station, that's not a thing. You have to still delete the tracks back. Which is why I still do it. I did get a little excited, though. I will be honest. So we're going to delete those back. I want to flatten this down anyway. Let's get our terrain tools all set up nicely. Full squashy mode. 100% squash that's flatten <laughs> I, I don't know guys why am I saying squash I'm, I'm really excited for what could be uh, possible now detailing wise so many textures as well to choose from now there is a lot of city or town village that side and then it heads off into the hills so we're going to uh, recreate that Curry Hill. Now I'm hungry. Brilliant. Is it just a hill of curries? I mean, I wouldn't complain and I'd probably move there. Where are we going? Right, we're heading up that way. Now we probably do have the wiggle room, don't we? To get up to that station, which I can't remember for the life of me. I'm going to go. It starts with a K. I did research it, but I can't remember. Oh yes, what? height do we have up there if i go all the way up there oh is it roughly the same height it might be yeah 90 to 91 it's just that we're dug in the side here now there is a curve after this which this is why i've got that curve as is allows us to get back on track and as we've seen we're going to be at the same height we do want to keep it at 100 and it does cut into another lovely hill. We're going to put all these back in. Do not panic. As we did, actually, over the other side. We're just going to come back this way now. Or is that 96? Why is that 96? Is that what that was at the end? Well, we can delete that. Let's get us uh, all leveled out down here. At least a little bit. The bit where we're going to be drawing our track anyway to make it a little easier. You'll see as we head gradually over to our line there, which is what we're going to do. With a few wiggles, that bear does not know what on earth is happening. There we go. We'll make that a little rough so uh, we can make some hills easy from it. Curve the maximum. And then we'll head down a little straight. Or straighter. And then we'll curve round touch here and I think what we can do at this point is get back on track guys there we go we'll just go straight from there from this point and there we go that's where we're going to have our station is are we happy with that shape we've done the uh, DNA strand thing again it's bound to happen though is it all 100 mile an hour yes 
We've got an interesting junction coming up. Kirk Newton actually has a level crossing on the end. Isn't that wonderful? I love that it does. It's, I mean, there's a lot of throw trains going here at 95 miles an hour. It is 95 rather than 100, but I'm fairly confident with our last one is 90. I'd like to recreate the longer platform to the north. Uh, but since we're deleting that back anyway, that's going to be fine. Now, we're definitely going to need this bit very flat after here in order to get our level crossing in. And we are pretty much back on track. Look at that. And uh, we're going to drift off that way. Let's keep it to the absolute maximum turn that we can. Do we want it on a grade? No, we want it absolutely flat. We can do our grade work after our junction. Now we've got a little bit of distance. Hopefully we can do this. This is the uh, the track that continues. And this is the track that splits off. So we get a nice 100 round here. Uh, and typically we're going to dig in, which I don't really want. I guess if we have a, an actual set slope. We can still make the junction quite nice. Yeah, there we go. We'll keep going around there. You'll notice we're going to struggle to uh, stay on track at the right speeds. I like this, though. We're heading up. That's perfect. This bit, we need to get our little road over here, don't we? Town roads. Let's just go with that one should do. It's at a little bit of an angle. There we go. Does it look okay? It does. Can we change these to the UK crossing? We don't want it quiet, do we? We want it with barriers and noisy. There we go. I never noticed it's even got a little cable behind there. That's brilliant. I love these. Keep clear. Ideally, I want to wiggle around there. That's how it does. Can we do it, though? Once we've got the connection in, go round like that. I think we can, can't we? That bit would go straight, but then it would curve off. Go round something like that. And then this bit would be something similar. I don't think it's actually got a proper pavement on it. Well, it doesn't that side. Yeah, I would say that's more of a country road once it heads out that way, which we could maybe do like that would that be better i think i prefer that we can turn this one into a street once it's got past the station there the rest we can build with gravel now you go over there and you start to head off there we go you're going to head off that way this road then uh dives off where exactly i don't know it's not important at the moment what's important is we got the level crossing in and uh, official episode already i will go around and make sure we've got embankments all in the right place and uh cuttings so we're heading off that way but we should do the junction which is a 70 mile an hour junction i think this should go a little straighter perhaps we can swing around more to get back up there i would like this junction as accurate as possible and I would like to gain the height as well, because we've got to do the climb back up to shots, haven't we? But from this way, we do the 100 again. We go a little straighter. We just have this same grade going up. Well, that's, uh, that was a crossover. Yeah, there we go. We're a little bit better. As long as we uh, just keep going round, manage this 100... We're a little bit further down, but we can meet back up with this. Then we need the 70 mile an hour crossover. 70. As soon as it hits 70, we'll take that. This needs to stay at 100 coming around. We do drop to, I want to say 70 over the viaduct as well. So there's a little section. We've got no stations on here. So as long as we get back on track up to, uh, up to the lock, I'm going to assume it's a lock. We'll continue this round and then we'll do the branch here. Oh, which is only supposed to be 70. 
so that we run alongside oh no that was 68 did you see that i saw it we'll run alongside of the uh, west coast main line for a little bit then we can do this for a little section then we can start branching round we're going to drift further round because we want to get back to livingston then it's going to go flat I think I was heading up there. I wouldn't mind watching it, like, drift down. Which, uh, will actually be flat for us. How tight can we get that? That'll do. Yeah. And then we'll head down a little bit. Give it a little bit of, uh, grey change. Yes. Can we get round to Livingston at 70? I think we can. We can always have Livingston a little bit further this way. Uh, we don't want to keep going down, do we? In fact, I might just keep it flat. Yes. Yeah, well, I think we can get there. There we go. I'm going to say the turnout is that side. As long as we can get it to 70. That doesn't make sense then, does it? It need to be this side, technically. Can we get it to 70? Oh, it's so close. Come on. We just don't have the angle. Uh, do we mind it going to 69? Or do you, It's so close. Maybe. If we uh, get that at 70, we'll just come back in and meet it. So there's just like a little bit of a... Come on. Something like that. There we go. And then we'll come back in and then we'll be back double tracked from that point And it should be 70. Yes. I mean, I don't know what's going on there. That's not pleasant, is it? Why did that go up? Don't go up. If I draw that again in one nice loop, does it work better? I think it does. Yes, and if we do the same now with this one... That should be 70 all the way. I know we've got a little bit of a gap, but that adds a little bit of scenery to it, doesn't it, as well? Let's just smooth that out. Get that all nice and level. This should be... Yeah, we should be at... Uh, is it Livingston? I hope it's Livingston. There we go. Yep. That's about the junction for me, and as long as it's all 70 through there, that should be perfect. I don't mind this middle bit. What we can do is paint the middle, can't we? Uh, with some ballast there. And get that look in the business. There we go. And a little bit over here as well. Now it looks like a junction. Do a little bit of weeding while we're at it. Since we've got the, uh, the brush here. I would love to get the cross-country service in today. We might even be able to get Livingston in, but since I'm aiming for cross-country, it's either Portsmouth or Plymouth. Portsmouth, maybe. Which is the one I want to get in. Right then. So that's going... Yes, keep heading up. I don't mind it. 100 mile an hour junction, that's brilliant. Keep heading up around here. And... There is kind of a dip there, isn't there? And a lot of wildlife. We don't care too much about the wildlife, so... A terrain tool time? Let's uh, let's get that going, shall we? Might exaggerate it a little bit. Get it something like that. It's not too big. Yeah, something like that should do. It's a little river, by the looks of things, that runs through there. Let's use this one. As long as we can get... A viaduct going over there. We want to keep it straight and I want to say it's 75. You can say what you want Grand, it's 70. <laughs> right, there we go. Lovely. And uh, let's get us a lovely viaduct going. And ooh, which one do we want? Medium? Small? I'm going to go. Oh, it's not quite enough, is it? Not quite enough. Oh no, hang on. Yes, it starts off with uh, the no bridge. I have to remember that. I never do. There we go. Lovely. Well, it's more a grey stone. That's what I feel. 
small. Do we have a nice grey? Yeah, there we go, like that. I know it's pretty default. Is that perfectly straight? That is perfectly straight. It does straighten up on the map. Whether it does in real life, I don't know. Beautiful. We got it in. I was going to do that afterwards, but now that we've got it in, I'm super chuffed. We go back to 100. It's only 75 over the viaduct. That's what it seems to say. And then it goes back to 95. Remember, we don't have 95. So uh, we can't do that. We're going to start heading up again. And then we'll, we'll drop down when I feel it's necessary to go and meet. How close are we? We're not far. We're not far. Goodness me, that's a... A bit of a climb on that section, isn't it? I wouldn't mind getting it in. I don't know whether we are in a cutting or not. It's hard to tell. I'll tidy up the uh, the curve so we don't roller coaster. Yeah, we definitely look to be climbing up there. Definitely. Uh, do the inside first, Grand. Yeah, I'm going to stick with a, a grade on this. Oh, my days. Which I... I we might have to give that a bit more of a climb from this point. Right, are we uh, doing okay here? We are. I think it looks like we head up and then head back down again. Similar to the shots line, but not... Uh... Although we're up to 182 meters above sea level now. So yeah, that's quite the climb, isn't it? I'm going to start dropping this climb off. Yeah. I feel like we uh, could have some embankments coming up and things like that. Definitely feel like we stay straight past this. Uh, not like that. No, I don't think we do. I think we're starting to come down. We should be quite a bit higher than that though, shouldn't we? Right. Uh, yeah, we don't want to go below it. That doesn't bode well. So you stay flat for this section so we don't drop below you. We're going to start heading down. There goes one of our trains. Is that the Avanti? Avanti train? Or is... I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, there it goes. Right, are we heading down enough? I think so. I think so. We come down all the way to there. So maybe a little bit steeper there. And then, how's it look? We don't want a 75 there, do we? No, we're pretty much 100 miles an hour, or 95, all the way there. Need this a little smoother then. Make sure we get the... There we go. And what's the grade like? Have we about got it spot on? I mean, it'd be lovely if it was. Unless it doesn't look too bad on the train. I mean, you don't want it perfectly straight, do you? That's not how they always are. Now, this is definitely flat this side so I'm gonna level this out where we are and get that nice and smooth there light fields next to us either side and then we've got a little river underneath get this nice and flat up here just so we can smooth it a little better the bear really doesn't know what's going on at the moment okay guys time to signal up that is going that way, one way. Absolutely has to. That is going that way, one way. And I've put it back a bit because... Well, he doesn't need to be back that far though, does it? You, well, yes, you're competing with that signal there. So you need to be a little bit further back. You are going faster. This track's 70, that's 95, but should be 100. And... It would have to be after this, really, I don't know. I would like to block it, if possible. Stick that there. I don't think we need a second signal. This signal can manage that. Would we have a signal here? I, I really don't think so, but I'm going to put one in anyway. I feel like there might be. Even though the back end would go over there, it should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to put one in there. We'll have a signal there. And we'll have one up here. Get our blocking in nice and early. We've got a few more that are going to use the portal. Uh, heading out from 
Edinburgh. You go in there. Right, should we add a service in? We've got it. Guys, we've got it. I think that covers it. There's our trio of signals that manage this entire junction. And considering a lot of the trains are going through there pretty quick, we don't need intermediate signals, I don't think. Yes, we're not going to get Livingston in today, but that's okay. We know where to put it. And then we'll be heading off to meet shots in the next episode. And that's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of network. It's actually Livingston South. There we go. Uh, do I want to put it in? You know, it's, it's really tempting. I might shove it up a little bit, though. A little bit further away from the junction. Shall we? Why not? We've got it at 70 currently. I'm going to level out, or are we level? I think we're level now, aren't we? Yeah, let's just go there. Level that out nice and straight. Then we'll stick it in. Lower East Crindle Dyke. No, it's not. It is uh, Livingston South. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Double, double make sure. Beautiful. I would like a, a sort of clearing signal, although... I don't think we're going to need it. Signals. Let's, uh, will you need it? Yeah, we might as well. Just put one there. We'll have one at the other end when we're done. There's no way to turn around at the moment. I'll double check to see if we've got any crossovers this side. I don't think we do because of this. That should be fine. Yes, there we go. Shall we start a new service then, guys? It is a Glasgow to Plymouth, not Portsmouth. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yes, it starts at Glasgow Central, goes to Motherwell, then Haymarket. And uh, finally, for us on our map, Edinburgh. Although we might have Dunbar in. I don't actually remember how many stations we've got on the East Coast way, wherever it goes. It might even head off down there. Yeah, well, that will be something to uh, look forward to. We may be able to extend that. Although we're starting in uh, Glasgow Central here. Do we have anybody in here at the moment? We don't. Lovely. Let's do it. New line. And it's going to be cross-country. So it's uh, Glasgow Central to Plymouth. And XC. Right. We know what colour this is. Oh, do we have that colour? Not really. <laughs> What's the closest we have? Like a dark purple? That'll do. Uh, okay. We start there. Brilliant so far. Well played. It's going to be a diesel. It's supposed to be doing... Where's our next stop? Motherwell. It's going to do... Pretty much what the Avanti West Coast and Trans Pennine Express does, except we're heading up here. We don't stop at Carstairs. I'm sure we'll find some trains that stop there. But our next stop is all the way at, goodness me, we just come all the way down this line, Haymarket, then Edinburgh, which made me panic a little bit. So for us, we'll just head back because we want a service running don't we it's going to represent every cross country service that's doing this yeah Motherwell there do you stop at Motherwell yes you do yes you do I might stop the Avanti one from stopping there and just have it go straight through occasionally it does so it sort of works right P1 and P2 on Motherwell that's absolutely fine it's P3 on Haymarket uh, which way would that be heading? That would be P3. Would technically be for us P4, right? And then P5. Yes, that's what I'm running with. It's actually done it correctly. Now, in Edinburgh, it stops at Platform 11, which has uh, got me a little bit worried. Platform 11. Oh, we couldn't get to some? I think you're lying. We might have to double check that. Where have where is it? Where is it? Platform 11. Well, yes. Uh, really? That's where you would be stopping? Heading that way? I... Possibly. Possibly. 
It then heads out the other end. It's interesting you can't get to the other ones. You can't get to three. Oh, of course you can't, you plonker. Some of these are not connected that way. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> you can't. Well, I mean, you can if you go up and reverse. But yes, brilliant. There we go. There we go. Our first train using it. It's going to go back out the same way. What we could do, I guess, where are we going? P11. We could do a little bit of uh, management up here. Waypoint management, couldn't we? So after Haymarket, we could technically go in there. I didn't say change the uh, platform here. It definitely narrows your options once you select that. That's better. Nice and tidy. Look at that. And then you go into P11, then you're going all the way through. Okay, I didn't know they would work like that, but uh, I'm totally happy with it. Do we have everything in? We've got to check all the crossovers and stuff. So we're taking this little wiggly line here. I mean, it's not pleasant. It would make sense. We do cut through there. Uh, this must be the way it goes. This has to be bi-directional. Uh, let me know if I'm right or wrong. I definitely don't think you do that, though. No. We could be missing some track as well that heads up there. So for now, after Motherwell... Could you go via that signal there? Uh, this is fine. Coming back on to the West Coast Main Line. Good. Are we happy? We're going to have to double check up the other end, guys. Uh, because it likes to do some wiggles, doesn't it? Up this end. And we don't like those. Because it doesn't make much sense at all. Uh, look at all of our lines that are going along here. Yes, this is what I was talking about. After Glasgow, could you stay on that line? Thank you very much. And then heading into Glasgow, we've got to pick you the actual platform. Although you have picked P2, which would be P1 for us. You actually need to be on P5, which is P6 for us. Do we have anything on P6? Well, this gap would be nice. What is that? That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, you share it with TransPennine Express. That possibly makes sense. P6. Yeah, which is... Wait. No, yeah, P5, which is P6. No, you don't. You share it with that one. What a... One. Oh, two, three, four, five, six. You might as well go in here, then. No one's in there. Go on that one. Yeah. For now. Uh, I, I honestly thought we were sharing with that. No, go there. That's absolutely fine. Right, should we get a train on there? That's, that's, some, that's some serious routage. Look at it from above, guys. If we hold Alt-G, it looks like... Uh, that looks like a cool map. It almost looks real, doesn't it? Even like that. Yeah. But there, there's our route. There's our new route. Heading all the way off. Let's get a train on and stop talking about it. Oh, I love it with all the uh, stuff turned off. It really is starting to turn into a map, isn't it? Like you could be looking at Google Maps. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Save it, Grand. You've not saved it all day. All right, I've hit play. Let's buy us a cross-country train, multiple units. Now, we've got a few to choose from. We do have these. I think they're too big, though. Uh, I'm not sure. What is that one? It's 198. Well, we could have. Ooh, could we? Slam door or sliding doors? Are they the same length? 198? Oh, they are diesels. I don't know which diesels they are, though. We've got a few to choose from. We can have these as well. Uh, we have all these in there. Should we put a 125 on just for now? We've got 390s in here, but these are absolutely monstrous in cross country uh, they were like uh, I don't know how long are they yeah two, well so we could possibly do those as well although aren't they electric yeah we're not having electric the service I was looking at is definitely diesel that narrows our options do you know guys we're going to have slidey doors and we're going to put this 
on where are you where's our purple there we go it's a little shorter than the rest of them it does stop on all the long platforms so we'll see how it does we may have to change its platform assignment at edinburgh we'll check up on that i've changed it to this view so you can see it coming out there we go doesn't that look lovely oh and it's stopping for us do you know what should we have that as an outro oh it's beautiful all right guys that has been an episode next time out we're heading to shots and uh, we'll continue that service and put even more services on from edinburgh going into the portal i thoroughly enjoyed that today uh, we'll let our train go off and we'll, maybe we'll see some other trains heading off in the background as well but uh, yes a lot of fun today this is great isn't it intercity one not an intercity one two five a hst high speed train on the line beautiful all right guys until next time take care